Action Grid's editable and add-in-place grids give Salesforce users the ability to edit and add records in line, making data entry more efficient and intuitive, just like using Microsoft Excel. Here we have an editable grid. It's already in edit mode, indicated by the edit button being lit up. I can simply fix these old close dates, which stick out to me because of the conditional formatting feature of Action Grid. I can do this one at a time if I like, and I can even edit multiple columns. When I'm done, I just save my changes all at once. To save yourself some time, though, you can use another feature whereby you edit a single row and then lasso other rows, then use an action similar to Excel's fill down feature, in fact, name the same. And again, I would save my changes. So here we've demonstrated some editability and some simple batch updating. Next, let's use Action Grid's reading pane, also known as preview pane, to expose some of the related list data. In this case, we see this row that has no opportunity products, shown by the Action Grid feature that shows related list data as a comma separated list, whereas this row does have some multiple products. Now my goal is to add products to this opportunity, and I'll do that with Add in Place. So I simply Add in Place, Action Grid respects all the business logic, such as pick lists, required fields, default values, just as if you were doing it the normal way. I'm going to add a couple rows here, and just to show off, I'll um, use my autofill again, just because I'm a little lazy. And finally, I'll save the data, and we'll see that the formulas were updated. Contrast that with the same process using a regular list view, and you'll count more than 20 page loads if I were to edit those closed dates and add products like I've done here. Next, let's go to a record detail page to see how Action Grid can help the related lists at the record detail level. As you'll see here, Action Grid can be used as a multi-tab interface of all the related lists, greatly improving the user experience and reducing that annoying scrolling problem. Here we're going to add in place again. This time we're going to be demonstrating our record type support. You'll notice here dependent pick lists on that record type NFL. Now we change that to Major League Baseball and the pick list changes as it should. So we respect all those record type stuff. Next, let's take a look at task management in Action Grid. So here we have a task list and we can edit in place, edit the subject, and we can even use this reading pane. It's not just a reading pane, we can use it as an editable list and I'll just save that record. Download a free trial to experience the power of Action Grid on your own data or contact us for additional information.